After beating Minecraft, you see this. It's a nearly 10 minute scrolling of text that players call Minecraft's end poem. Well, what if I told you that this just entered the public domain? Let me explain. Minecraft is famously known not only as the best-selling video game of all time, but also one of the games with the most freedom. The sky's the limit, the world is your oyster, and imagination is king. But even though Minecraft is the definitive sandbox experience without much of a narrative, something different happens in the final few minutes. This poem is an existential story where characters talk about you, the player. It goes into life, death, and the vastness of the beautiful universe we find ourselves in. It's not something you expect out of a game like Minecraft, but it is special and one of the most memorable parts of the game. Fans are still trying to figure out what it means to this very day. While I'm not here to add any more theory fuel to the fire, we have a pretty big update about the end poem. So this is Julian Go. He's the guy to thank for writing Minecraft's ending, and in December 2022, he made an announcement. He was releasing his work into the public domain. In a document of several thousand words, he tells a story of how it happened. Here's the too long didn't read version. According to him, he never signed a contract giving rights to Mojang or Microsoft for the end poem. He's now releasing the full poem under a Creative Commons license. Fast forward to January 2023, and Julian posted a new Twitter thread about the story. For those who like a little evidence with their story, here's the original contract, which I refused to sign when I wrote the ending in 2011, and refused to sign again when Microsoft bought Minecraft in 2016. I basically kept quiet about the whole mess for years, wasn't sure what to do. Then, late last year after a lot of thought, I decided to place the ending to Minecraft in the public domain under this Creative Commons license. So, I gave away my copyright. People were now free to do what they liked with the narrative at the end of Minecraft, the end poem. Set it to music, use it in a school play, make t-shirts, and posters of it painted on the side of their van, whatever. Julian goes on to say that several news outlets reached out to share all this, but Microsoft wouldn't respond for a comment. They're not really confirming anything to the public, leaving a lot of mysteries still floating around. All of this is coming directly from the guy who wrote the end poem, so assuming he's telling the truth, this is great news. It gives freedom to anyone interested in playing around with the poem, and Microsoft apparently can't do anything about that because they don't own the rights. This whole story is kinda complicated, so if you're interested in checking out all the details, the links you need are in the description below. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up. And comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.